Hey everybody, Western Buckeye Training coming with a quick talking point over the MSA, SCBA, and the bottle displacement that we noted during our recent RIT training. This was the RIT training we were doing. We were doing a Denver drill scenario. You can see this was the simulated hallway, simulated tight quarters to be working in to help remove this firefighter. Every student was doing a SCBA waist strap to harness conversion. As we all know, this helps create one solid unit of the SCBA and stops the entire pack from riding up. However, we started doing a single man Denver drill removal and we noted that this was happening and you'll see in this video. So the firefighter is explaining the technique and to get this fireman prepped to get him out of the window. Because we don't have a firefighter sitting down underneath where this guy is propped up against the wall, we're slamming the SCVA bottle up against the windowsill. And this is what causes the bottle to push up or forward. Wash over in the bottom corner. Look how far up our bottle moved. This is creating a couple issues for us. Just a few of the examples of some of the issues that are created when this bottle is displaced or moved up on the harness system is we've changed the rescuer's orientation of the SCVA bottle. We move the valve stem up. We move the high pressure line up. We're putting stress on the high pressure line. This might change how we have to grab that firefighter out of the window. It might change where our webbing is going. Remember, we are not gentle moving a firefighter out during a RIT situation. We are also not just doing this through a Denver drill. This could be any type of maneuver we're doing to remove this fireman from that environment. This was another view of that same firefighter that we did the Denver drill evolution on where his bottle moved forward. You can see here how far up that bottle had moved within the harness system. Once again, this is displacing the bottle, is changing the orientation of it and changing how we're perceiving this air pack as we're feeling it with our gloved hands in that zero visibility environment. Where is our high pressure line if we needed to do some type of bottle swap to make sure the air pack is still in place? Where's our universal RIT connection at? How do we make sure all of his lines are good? We're changing the air pack in this situation. And like I said before, it isn't just a Denver drill. It could be any type of maneuver making this fireman uh, easily accessible to get removed. We're changing the air pack during the entire process. Just something to keep in mind. Remember to go over your own air pack. Remember to know it in and out. And just be prepared for when that situation may arise. Thank you for your time. Please let us know what you think. Leave a comment on any of our social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.